Maybe you have some gold rings at home that you want to check and uh, be certain about. Is it made of real gold? In this video, I'll show you what you can do to check and see for yourself. Because there's two ways to go about it. You either believe others or you check it for yourself. Now, checking is going to take just two easy measurements and one long division. Okay? If you want to believe others, here is something that you can do. Most rings contain a stamp on it with the quality of the ring in it. Usually, it's very small, and uh, I can check it for myself with this uh, handheld loop, or, uh, well, this is actually part of a microscope, but uh, close enough. And uh, on this ring, you can see 585 next to my overgrown fingernail. And uh, this one has a stone in it. I'm not going to take the stone out. Uh, for my measurements, so this one is out, but simpler shapes, no, uh, not simpler shapes, complex shapes with no stones uh, can be checked out with uh, this method I'm going to show you. And in the diamond there you can see the number is 750, it's just upside down. So, and also on the other side you have the same number repeated, uh, 750, barely, barely visible in that diamond and also it's next to it 750 all right so that means that it's 18 karat gold or so they claim what i have here is a scale of course and you can see the mass of the gold ring is 5.1 grams i'm gonna do metric on this one 5.1 grams if you move it around it's still 5.1 over there it's still 5.1 all right if you don't have a scale that measures uh, 0.1 grams don't worry about it just take it to your pharmacist and just ask them nicely please put it on a scale they have very good quality pharmaceutical scales and they can get you one or two decimal digits no problem all right after you measure the mass we're going to measure the volume of it and that means dipping it in water for that part, I have here a graduated cylinder with water in it. And I'm going to lower the camera for you to see this. Just give me a sec here. We're going to go around here. And down a lot. Something like this. And let's see where this is. I want to put it on solid base. There just a little lower almost there and there I have you at a fixed height there the height of the water is at exactly 21 cc's all right other graduated cylinders also exist like this one in the background and you can see that 5 cc's is uh, that corresponds to that length and on this one 5 cc, oh, don't want to tip it over totally. And on this one, 5 cc corresponds to a much longer length. The smaller is better because you can measure more accurately with it. So if you have a necklace that you can throw into a narrower one, you're going to be better off because it measures more accurately there. You can see the change of 1 cc very easily. On this one, it's going to be a challenge. I know, I tried it. So, what we do is, I'm going to hook up this ring on this copper wire and I'm going to lower it in. I don't want a huge splash because if I lose water, uh, that's, not gonna, that's going to affect the measurement. So, I don't want to do that. There. It's in. And the level went up from 21 to 21 and a half. Alright. And that's an estimation. It's about half a half a cubic centimeter of gold. Now, what you do next is put away that one and don't lose grandma's ring. And uh, come on up here. I'll show you. We're going to crunch numbers. So, it was, you have to divide the mass with the volume. 
So the mass was 5.1, and you divide it by the volume that was estimated to be 0 0.5 cc's. Mass over volume, I have a number 10.2. 10.2 grams for every cubic centimeter. It kind of makes sense. Half a cubic centimeter is 5.1, so a full cubic centimeter will be 10.2. So, but that's what you do with whatever numbers you get. You divide the mass with the volume, you're gonna get density. So the density of grandma's ring is 10.2. Now you need to compare it to standard densities of materials. What I have here, come on back over here, on this side here. Uh, just a little closer. There, that's more like it. Standard densities of materials run something like this. And it's metric. Okay. Gold is 19.32 grams for every cubic centimeter. Uh, a milliliter is the same as a cubic centimeter for now, okay? It's exactly the same thing. Now, mass is not weight. And milliliters are not cubic centimeters, but for now it's close enough, okay? So don't nitpick. Because the uh, cylinder says milliliters on it there. Then next to the 25, you can see milliliters, okay? It's the same as cubic centimeter. So, uh, grandma's ring was 10 point, yeah, 10.2, uh, so it's not pure gold for sure. Copper has a density of 8.96. Grandma's ring is heavier than pure copper. I have silver, 10.49, and aluminum or aluminium, 2.7. Those are standard densities. Now, gold is an alloy, or uh, gold that's found in the jewelry stores is an alloy of things, and this is how stuff works. If something is 24 carat, that means that it contains 24 parts of gold out of 24 parts of unknown or 24 parts of product. So that means that every cubic centimeter of it is exactly 19.32 grams. If something is 22 carats, that means that it contains 22 parts of gold out of the 24, par 24 parts and it contains two parts of something out of the 24. That, that makes sense that those two guys make up the 24, uh, 24 out of 24. All right, if I take this part to be the density of uh, gold and this part to suppose that it's made of copper, that's why I had copper here highlighted green, then what you get out of it is this much gold with that density should have that much mass and this much copper, two parts of copper, with that much mass should have uh, mass per cubic centimeter, should have that much mass in the in the alloy when they are mushed together, melted together, and therefore a cubic centimeter of this 22 carat product should have a mass of 18.45 grams. It's lighter than 19.32 because the gold content has been lowered. The gold is the heavy guy, the copper is the light dude. Okay, so grandma's ring was 10.2. It sure isn't a 22 karat gold. Next one, 18 karat gold. The 18 karat gold, that would be the, that would be the 750 because uh, 18 out of 24 is the same as 75% gold or 750, but the millesimal counting system is another video. 750 gold means 75% gold, so 3 quarters of it is gold, and 18 over 24 is the same as 3 quarters. So, if 3 quarters of it is gold, and that's the gold's uh, density per cubic centimeter, and that amount is the copper, and then uh, the gold part of the alloy mix is that heavy, and the copper part of the alloy mix is that heavy. Therefore, the combined mass of the 18 carat gold, alloy, gold copper alloy must be 16.73 grams. I have 10.2. The, the uh, ring claims to be of 18 carat. No, it's not. Not happening. 
by a wide margin. The 10 is not even close to 16. Next one is my 10 karat gold there, and you can calculate for yourself 12 karat or 14 karat gold. Uh, you can see the same calculation. There's the gold part, the copper part, the gold amount, the copper amount, 12 grams. Not happening. All right. Even if I repeat the calculations with instead of copper, try to substitute in silver because silver is a little heavier. And then instead of 16, it's going to be like 17 or whatever. It's going to be more. And instead of 12.5, it's going to be 13 point something. It's not going to be 10.2. Grandma's ring is way too light for a 10 carat gold copper alloy or a 10 carat gold silver alloy. It must have aluminum or some kind of lightweight garbage, whatever in it. It's definitely not 750 gold not happening so that's how you can check it for yourself and uh, you can change the numbers super straightforward uh, what I have here if you have a ring that that has this kind of cross section or maybe that kind of cross section I'll show you in another video how instead of estimating the volume of the ring to be half a cc or whatever the heck it is you can accurately calculate with accurate decimal digits as a result if it's a simple circle a single single loop with that kind of cross section you can have a super efficient uh, super accurate number for a volume all right so that's my story on gold rings have fun uh, crunch some numbers uh, don't annoy your pharmacist too much all right you can do this